what is the height of Sri Vidya to which it takes all of you? Why Sri Vidya is considered to be the highest among all the Vidyas, Mahavidya? And leave the mundane benefit. What is that? It can make you, it can make you realize. I wanted to share this with you because ninety nine point nine nine percent of us are only dealing with two dimensional aspect. You, me, world and me. And this two dimension is called Dvaitam. And the second dimension, apparent second dimension, make you lose your inner strength, number one, make you afraid of your own species, doubt your own species, and make you unaware of what you have and always aspire for something else because the second dimension is more attractive than the first dimension. The first dimension is you. The second dimension is world. And I'm using my Shabdas Prasarupadasagandhas, Tanmatras, only to deal with the second dimension. He will only dealing with me. And the two of my same species. I can only talk to you. I cannot talk to the tree. I cannot talk to the bird. I can only feel your touch. Even though I'm sitting in the chair, my mind will not be focused on the touch I'm getting from the chair because my mind is used for the second dimension. And the second dimension involves only my species. And then, enter the dragon, Guru comes. And he introduces the third dimension. And the third dimension is always referred to the one which is involved in the creation, sustenance, and not destruction, merger with the source. And they are referred to as Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara. And as a Sri Vidya Upasaka, guided by the Guru, and the Sri Vidya knowledge, one starts to experience the third dimension. And when you are experiencing the third dimension, the power of the third dimension is to reduce the power of our own mind. The I factor, without our knowledge, <coughs> will reduce day by day. Planning will reduce. Protection will reduce. In these two P's, perseverance replaces protection. Acceptance replaces planning. Prayer replaces facing the life as it is and thanksgiving. So the whole purpose 
of this third dimension is to wriggle you away from this vicious bond which this I factor makes you with the apparent second dimension. Apparent. Underline the word. Apparent second dimension. As soon as the I factor comes down, the second factor, second dimension means nothing to you, slowly. So the purpose of Sri Vidya is to be in the world and to be away from it. To be in the sansara and not being affected by it. She is alone but not lonely. Can you understand the word? I am alone when it comes to my sadhana. But I am not lonely. That lonely, lack of loneliness doesn't include, doesn't limit only with my family, my garden, my animals, my air, Panchabhuta, all this come into it. And slowly, if you progress further, that means when you reach Maha Shodasi. Shodasi is limited to these 16 phases of the moon, control of mind, and of course it's very high, but the Maha Shodasi, Mahat, is when you do that Upasara of Maha Shodasi, then the fourth dimension you won't experience outside the fourth dimension you experience inside this is the fourth dimension which is referred in the Guru Stotram as Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheswara three dimensions Guru Sakshat Parabrahma so imagine this is the one point fourth dimension third dimension one world you this is the triangle and the top is the third dimension the vertex of the triangle is the third dimension and is hanging from the fourth dimension the fourth dimension is parabrahma when you start experiencing the parabrahma that's where the aham brahmasmi ayamatma brahma tatvamasi prajnana brahma all these mahavakyas come mahavakyas experience comes with mahashodasi from Aham, you already to move to Mahat. The two dimension is involving Aham. The third dimension reduces the Aham. And the fourth dimension, entry of the fourth, experience of the fourth dimension makes you move and not move, makes you experience the Mahat. That's when Many people ask me question, what are the Dasha Mahavidyas? Are they part of Sri Vidya? You're moving towards universal source, mother. And you're hanging on to that in spite of any arts. Not even worried about your position. You're just clinging on, cliffhanger. Have you seen a movie? Cliffhanger. Hanging. And then, under this universal force, sub-energies do exist in the cosmic plane. And these sub-energies are called Dasa Mahavidyas, which act on our five Jnanendriyas and five Karmendriyas, and make, give them the capacity to experience the five tanmatras on a wider scale. Right now, I'm using this Jnanendriya Karmendriya only to relate, uh, only to relate with my own species. But, with the support of this, the Samahavidyas, 
you don't need to do upasana and the smaha vidya once you uh, hold on to mother with mahashodasi mantra all these dashamaha vidyas will be these are 10 mothers they'll be nourishing you one mother will be nourishing with some and uh, come uh, kind of energy another mother with some kind of energy some protection kali tara chinna chinna masta bhagala mukhi it takes care of your speech it doesn't kill the other person it doesn't the for the sattvic side in the initial side it will only help you many people think bhagala mukhi means cutting this with a scissor uh, the tongue of a, a demon no as it's at a sattvic level bhagala mukhi is my mother who control my speech i care for my speech i won't be careless just blabber something and then think oh i should not have thought like that i should not have talked like that now chin namasta controls my ego tara gives me freedom of enjoyment every mother nourish me and then as you move forward to eliminate how long how can how long how strong you are dedicated to this journey how long you are focused on mother it is a, i don't need anything mere kuch bhi nahi chahiye khali mother i hold this i'm not rejecting but i want you only this the state of the upasaka at that time as a final test they will encounter some difficulties every upasaka goes through to take the case of kabir surdas everybody at that time see the same dasha mahavidyas will be astras for you and you get an intuition of recite my name recite my mantra i feel like reciting pratyangira then you don't know whether it came from my mind i mean your mind or from your intuition at subconscious level at that time guru helps you that's why you need a guru's guidance all along your sri vidya path guru determines yes you go ahead and this is an astra you take it you use it and put it back it's not upasana where you have to continuously sit before her and do the sadhana no once you use it put it back how can i know what astra i need to use what what problem don't worry you stop planning long time back you stop planning long time back she will take care she will send the same matrika devatas as a protection for you that's when the dasamaha vidyas will act on your not on your indriyas but on the ten directions where the negative energy may come from and affect you like a mother protecting the child the lalita protects you the child this will happen only from the beginning till this point if you hang on to the feet of mother this is must come what it may my guru my guru who has shown me mother and my mother these are the top priority nothing else matters many people that's why it's called dhira dhira samachita when you are at this stage previously at the third dimension 
you may give pravachans like all the people are giving ramayana mahabharat shiva purana kartika purana but fourth dimension whatever you say will be a vedam whatever you say will be a shastra you open a new era yuga karta shaka karta nandi you are the first one to start this theory and that is compared to sarvanullangya shasana sri chakkaradana ya sri mantra sundari sarvanullangya shasana whatever you say that we followed by millions and of people that's how this you know the different different buddha bauddha mata jaina mata all these religions different so where you are in the beginning 99.99 people dealing with the world going here and there working for the family working for the money working for some comforts and where you are ruler the from a you become the that is the height of upad you are a man you are a upasaka you'll be the man the upasaka the one who has dai in a who has experienced dai will become the so this i need to understand urdhamuka yenamaha that's fair that doesn't mean always look at the top i'm ceiling i'm seeing the ceiling namuka oh my god i need to white wash this ceiling so what i am getting is the worry by saying urdhamuka yenamaha literally but urdhamuka yenamaha what i see is just necessary for my existence here but more than this i have something at the top so if in a sri vidya upasaka himself or herself and this becomes a third dimension fourth dimension is 2 inches above and that's where your upasana ends you don't need to do anything else what else you need to do i hope i made myself clear in the right what is so let us not put the question who is tara who is sinamasta who is bakalamukhi can i do pratyangira can i do who are you to first of all get along with the life do whatever your guru says wait for the messages from inside look at the world as if it has not existed that doesn't mean that you don't care for the world but the world should not affect you this is the underlying word the world should not affect you the world gets life by your feelings you get pain the world is bad you get pleasure the world is good i don't care the world i i am in the world but nothing affects me then that means vishrunkala viktasta veeramata viyat prasuhu shrunkala handcuffs my hand is tied my movements are tied because of my link with this world conscious link i need to break that so sri vidya helps you a lot 